Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and thank you very much for joining me for another video. So as you would have heard in Sunday's video, today's video is basically going to be a styling one. So I've pulled out some of my current favourite pieces slash some new pieces that were in the haul on Sunday and I thought I would show you how I'm going to be wearing them and how I would style them. So all of the outfits are pretty wearable, there's nothing in here that's like crazy, it's just kind of like nice day to day outfits that you can kind of throw on and go. So jumping in with the first item, which is this really gorgeous white dress. So the bad news is that this keeps selling out, but I will link it below so if you've got the link you can keep refreshing it. Because I wanted it for so long and it kept going in and out of stock, I literally refreshed the River Island website like three or four times a day. And I did manage to get my hands on this one, so fingers crossed it does come back. However, the styling that I'm going to do with this dress would pretty much work with any white dress. I've actually got a couple of other ones that I will be styling up similar to this, so obviously if you can't get your hands on this one, the kind of overall styling would work with any white dress. But yeah, this one is just absolutely gorgeous. It's got this really nice embroidery detail and it's got like a nice little tie waist, which is great for kind of cinching yourself in. And it's got this really lovely V-neck here and this kind of frill around the neck. So as you'll see in the cutaway, how I would style this for like a kind of dress down casual day, which is probably an outfit that I've been reaching for the most at the moment is with a leather jacket. So I think something like this, so elegant and so feminine, so pretty, grunged up a bit with a biker jacket just creates such a nice contrast. I also have put it with my beige trainers. Again, just for more of a contrast, it's kind of like the unexpected outfit. You see a pretty dress, but then you throw on a biker jacket and some trainers, and it just looks so much kind of, so much more chilled out, a bit more cooler, dressed down, that kind of effortless, I haven't tried with my outfit kind of look, even though you totally have. Um, and yeah, this is an outfit that I've been reaching for so much recently, and I absolutely love it. To be honest, I did sell on Instagram. It could be up there with like my top two favorite outfits. So yeah, it's definitely my favorite outfit out of this whole video. So that's the first way that I would style it, which would be my preferred way. But equally, this is a very pretty summer dress, so it should be shown in that kind of light, which as you can see, I think it looks lovely with a little basket bag and then some sandals. So this basket bag is from a little brand called Aura Era. They're like a little independent brand. I will link it below. And then the shoes are from Raid. And that kind of combo just makes it a little bit more classic and obviously a bit more kind of spring that summer friendly if you are wanting a slightly more feminine, slightly more dressier outfit. The next item that I thought I would kind of show you how I'm going to be wearing is this really gorgeous midi dress which was from ASOS but it's the brand Stradivarius, Stradivarius, I never know how to say it. It was from my ASOS haul on Sunday. So the main way that I would go about styling this skirt, as you can see, would be with a white t-shirt and a blazer and my beige trainers. I'm obsessed with those trainers. They could literally go with everything. I wear them all the time. Um, but yeah, I would tie the little t-shirt into like a knot just to kind of give your waist a bit of definition. Obviously you could tuck it in, but I think tying it at the front just gives it a bit more of a kind of spring, summer, relaxed look. And as I said, showing like a tiny bit of midriff just kind of breaks the outfit up a bit. Then if it was a bit chilly, I would pair it with a blazer. I absolutely love how blazers and mini dresses and midi skirts look. I think again, it's a really nice contrast of, contrast of kind of like smart casual. And then sticking with the theme, I would pair it with my trainers. And again, to be honest, I probably would pair this with my Chloe Tess. Equally, any kind of crossbody bag would work really nicely. So I would say that this outfit is almost dressy, but in a really casual way, because obviously, theoretically, this skirt is quite smart, the blazer's quite smart, but then you've got the t-shirt and the trainers which kind of pull it back a bit, because obviously, if you was wearing the skirt and the blazer with like a pretty top and heels, it would instantly be more dressy. However, to make it a bit more casual, you could pair it with like a little graphic tee. So I've got this one here which is from ASOS, it just says USA on it and obviously it's got like a little American flag and I just really liked it. I actually saw it a while ago on ASOS and I didn't have it in my size um, so then I grabbed it the other day when it had come back. So I actually picked this up in a size 12, I'm about an 8 or a 10 but obviously I wanted it to be oversized just for a more casual look. 
but I think this top really does give the skirt more of a kind of grungy cool look. And then maybe because you've got a slightly more dressed down top half, I would probably go for something like these shoes for the footwear. So these are from Topshop but on ASOS and they were £24 but I actually had a 20% off code because of like a ASOS premiere, you know with the delivery. I'm totally not making any sense. <laughs> I literally just vomited words at you then. Basically, uh, I paid for the next day delivery for a year on ASOS, I think it was like nine pounds or something, and they sent a 20% off code the other day, and I used it on these. That's what I was trying to say. But yeah, I really like these. I just think they're such a classic sandal, and I think the black with the kind of silver hardware is a really nice contrast, and these are kind of very good at making an outfit look a bit more fashionable and a bit more cooler, maybe just in like your average sort of white slider, because obviously they are kind of quite shapely, there's quite a lot going on with them, but then they are still quite minimal, so yeah, I think these are a really nice option for switching out trainers. So next up I have this really pretty top, now it's kind of like a mix of the white dress that I showed earlier, it's this really gorgeous broidery style, it's got long sleeves, a little sheer waist and almost like a sheared neckline and obviously as you can see it has these frills. I just think tops like this look so effortlessly fashion and so feminine and pretty that yeah I just thought I would show you how I'm going to be wearing it. Because this top is kind of simply a statement with the frills and the kind of puffiness um, I would honestly just pair it with jeans, but that's kind of like my sort of casual style, that's sort of how I go about styling these kind of tops, but I think with the indigo jeans that I showed you a moment ago, it just gives it a really nice cool dress down look, because the top is so pretty, I don't think you would need anything crazy on the bottom half, I think it would work nicely with a denim skirt, maybe some denim shorts, um, but I wouldn't go anything crazy with this top. Um, Maybe some minimal jewellery would look really nice with it, but other than that, that's probably how I would be styling it. So I think it also works really nice with those sliders. Again, they just give it a nice bit of contrast, a kind of black, sort of edgy, edgy slider with the kind of pretty top is just a sort of contrast that I'm loving at the moment. So next up, I have this really pretty little top that I did show in Sunday's ASOS haul. So how I will be wearing this is possibly with the indigo jeans that I've just showed you for the previous two outfits. Equally, they would look really nice with white jeans, but I don't normally reach for white jeans that much unless I have to with the top because it doesn't really work with anything else. So the jeans that I would probably go for, as you can see, is this more kind of relaxed, chilled out pair. Just because I feel as though the colours in this top are just so soft and pretty, I think a softer style denim will complement it really nicely. And I also think that this would work, again, nicely with trainers. Equally, it would, it would look nice with some sandals. It would also look nice with sliders. It's just the kind of outfit that you can throw on with anything and it will just look nice. That's kind of why I ordered this top in the first place. It's just kind of one of those nice tops that you can throw on and look effortlessly pretty. So as you can see, I have paired this top again with my Chloe Tess. I'm obsessed, I know. Got to get the money's worth out of it. Um, but it would also look really nice with like maybe a little white bag. Um, or just something like a nice neutral light coloured bag I think would work really nicely with this one. So next up I have this yellow dress. Now if you follow me over on Instagram you will know I have been I have been obsessed with this recently. I absolutely love it and I think it's so gorgeous and so perfect for spring and summer. So much like a lot of the other items that I've showed you, this dress could def definitely work kind of two ways. So the first way would be to dress it down with trainers, maybe throw on a biker jacket and some sunglasses and really kind of grunge it up, really get that contrast of the grunge and the florals. And that probably is the main way that I would wear this dress. I would probably wear it with some flat sliders as well, maybe some white ones. I actually have a pair from New Look that I really like. They were super affordable. They do great, affordable, comfy sliders. But equally, I think if you were to wear this for an occasion dress, it would work so nicely with a white pair of sandals, as you can see in the cutaway. These ones that I've got on here are just from New Look. They're just a simple kind of um, strappy, minimal, white, creamy shoe. Um, again, paired with a little white bag, it's just a more kind of slightly dressier but still comfy, still pretty kind of outfit. 
I think this sort of look would be nice for a wedding. Maybe you would go for a slightly dressier bag, maybe something a bit more kind of glamorous and not so chunky, but it would be a really nice kind of outside summer event dress as well. And lastly, I have these H&M camel creamy coloured trousers. So I've really been loving these at the moment. They were in my H&M haul recently. I absolutely love them. I think they are so comfy and they're just so, so gorgeous. So as you can see in the cutaway, these look so, so nice dressed up. I feel as though this is more kind of like a workwear outfit slash maybe date night outfit if you wanted to look a bit more formal with the little white blouse which is from New Look and then some mules which are from River Island. They are quite old so I'm not totally sure if they still have them in stock but I think this is a really nice kind of formal workwear look. Equally, you could switch out the mules and just have like a little flat smart work shoe if you were to wear them to an office. And then if you wanted to kind of dress them down maybe for the weekend or once work's finished, you could definitely pair this maybe with like an oversized cardigan like the one that I've got on here. I've also worn them quite a lot recently with like a little cami top and a cardigan over the top. I think that's a really nice way of dressing them down. But these are just a really nice versatile pair of trainers that can definitely do like super dressy and super casual. And it helps that they're really comfortable as well because they do have like an elasticated waistband, which is always super handy. So that was all of the items that I had to show you. These are definitely the pieces that I've been kind of leaning to the most or I know I'm going to be leaning to the most. Let me know which is your favourite outfit or piece. I would love to know. I will try to link everything that I can below, although some of the items that I've styled the key items up with are maybe a bit older. So if they're not in stock, I will try to link something similar. And if you don't already, make sure to follow me over on Instagram because that's where you'll be able to see me wearing all of these pieces and like styling them up and shooting in them. So I really hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe because I know there's so many of you that aren't. So if you could, that would be hugely appreciated. And I will see you very soon in my next video.